Like I said earlier, my name is Tarere with WTEC, the Women's Technology Empowerment Center in Lagos, Nigeria. And we work with, primarily with girls and women, equipping them with digital skills. We are re really working to develop the next ger generation of women tech entrepreneurs. And we do this through a variety of programs. We have our Early Innovators program, which I will be touching on, which is geared towards more of the younger kids more, and also includes boys. However, the other programs, such as our after school club, our academy, a mentor her program, and a variety of other programs which we use to equip women with digital skills are that we run. And so today I'll be talking about the Early Innovators program. Early Innovators program is typically a two-week camp, usually before the pandemic, and it was two weeks, and it's taught young kids technology in a fun way, using on using hands-on and project-based methodology. So last year, because of the pandemic, we had the camp online, so it was virtual, and it ran for four weeks. And we the, the goal of the camp really is to create a generation of young pro programmers, designers, entrepreneurs who can innovatively build amazing games, apps, and more. So I'll be talking shortly about the different models in the Early Innovators program that we taught last year. So the first one is animation programming with Scratch. So we taught the kids how to use Scratch, which is an application and it's block-based, it's a block-based visual programming language where you can create interactive stories, animation, and games. During the course, students learn the basic of programming concepts, created stories, and also created games. Then we moved on to game design with Roblox, which is another application. Uh, Roblox is an online 3D game platform that allows users to program games and play games created by other users. So the students got introduced to Roblox. They created their own account, created their own Obi game. And Obi in the game, Obi in the game, you have to jump over obstacles and don't fall off the stage. And you see a picture of the game at the end of my presentation. So then we also taught them uh, video game design with Kodu. Kodu is another application, a Kodu programming language made specifically for creating games to teach kids basic programming principles while the students were having fun creating shooting games, racing games, they were also learning basic programming skills. And the last one, the last module was video production, which taught kids how to create videos using pictures and using words as well. And we did this with Kid Story Builder. Okay, so I'll be talking about how WTEC has used the digital open badges. We used it for a variety of our programs, the Early Innovators Camp, the she creates camp as well as our maker space program. For the first of all, these programs have been aligned with the Digicom 2.1 framework, as Henry talked about as well. We aligned our programs with that framework because we, you know, wanted it to be aligned with a standardized framework. And we felt the Digicom 2.1 framework was, was a really good one to use. So as for the design, we wanted something that was simple that represented WTEC, especially our logo colors. And we made sure to ensure that the badge was, our badge logo was, our logo was in the image. And as you can see on the right-hand side of the slide, that is what the badge looks like. And the it changes with, the label on it changes with the model. So as you can see, that one says animation programming. So the one for, the one for game design would be different and the one for video game design as well as video production would have a different label on there and it would say Ellen Innovators on the top, just like it does on this one. And then each badge was issued for the completion of a module. For instance, if a student participated in the game design module with Roblox and was able to create a game, then they would get a badge. We didn't necessarily make, the, make them have to put evidence of the game because they are much younger there. The, the age range was really young. We had young children between the ages of six and 12. So we didn't want to make it too difficult for them. So if they just completed the, the module, then they would get the badge. And a lot of the children also, you know, do not have email addresses. 
and they may need assistance to do projects and assignments. And so we wanted it to be as simple as possible. And we considered their attention span as well in designing these modules and issuing these badges. For that, we made sure that it was as easy as possible. For some of our other programs, such as our Makerspace and our She Creates Camp, our Makerspace, we had some of we had our students answer a few questions and then they were able to end the badge. But for the She Creates Camp, we had them submit their weekly projects. So say it was Python programming that they would learn that week, then they would submit their project for the Python programming and then they would get the badge. And so we, for those ones, they, they had to provide evidence, but for this particular one, no evidence was needed. They just needed to complete the model. And then on this slide, you can see an example of the game that they would create with, I believe this is with Roblox, uh, a game where Obi, where they created Obi and Obi would have to jump over obstacles so that they don't fall, fall off the stage. So this is one of the games created by one of our students. And then on the next slide, is another example of a model activity, which is Kodu, which was which was done using Kodu, and it's a game as well where the, the where one of us, which one of our students created, and the castle is the end of the racing game. The the student this the game would start from this platform and then we'll go all the way to the castle, which is the end of the game. So that's on some of the module activity and our use WTEX use of uh, digital open badges in our L innovators program. Thank you.